This video demonstration is going to show you how to use the iPad app Explain Everything to create a simple animation. It ties in with JE Computing Project Live Scheme of Work Unit 2.3. So after pupils have done their storyboard and they've decided on the characters and the background images that they would like to have in each of their scenes, they're then ready to start making their animation. To do this, they need to go to the Explain Everything app. Once in the app, to create a new project, you need to press the Add button in the top left-hand corner and select any of the templates. This will take you to slide 1. So slide 1 is going to be Scene 1. In this example, I'm just going to create the first two scenes retelling the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. First thing I'll need to do is add in the background image for scene one. To add in an image you need to use the add button which is the fifth button from the top down the left hand side. Once you've pressed the add button because the images are already saved into the iPad camera roll I'm going to choose existing photo slash video and I've actually saved the images in a folder called animation so I'm going to press animation so in scene one I'm going to have the background image of outside Jack's house so I'm going to select this first image here and you'll notice it's not quite the full size of the screen so using my finger and my thumb I'm just going to stretch the image so that it fits the full size of the screen. Now I'm going to press the done button in the top right hand corner and that will add the background image to the slide for scene one. Because we don't want the image to move we're going to lock it in place. So again using the tools down the left hand side about halfway down there is a button that has the eye on it so pressing the eye button and I'm going to press lock to lock the image in place so that it doesn't move. Now that I've got my background image imported I'm ready to put in the characters. So in scene one I'm going to add an image of Jack. Now at this stage I need to cut around the image so I'm going to use the crop tool at the top which is the the dotted circle And using my finger, or you could use a stylus pen, I'm going to carefully just draw around the outline of Jack. And you'll see that it's in green, so you can follow carefully the outline of the shape. Now I've drawn round the shape, press the done button and this will crop it and press the done button again and then this will add it to the scene. Now obviously Jack's a little bit too big there so again using my index finger and my thumb I'm just going to pinch him so that he goes smaller and then I'm going to position him where I want him to be within the scene. Also in scene one I'm going to have Jack's mum. So again, going to the Add button, selecting Existing Photo Video, and choosing the image which has Jack's mum in it. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger so I can see it. So again, I'm going to the Crop tool, the fourth one from the from the right along the top, and using my finger again, just carefully drawing around the outline of Jack's mum. Pressing the done button so that it crops her and then done again so that it adds her to the scene. I'm going to make her a little bit bigger and I'm going to position her over this side of the river. The final character I need for scene one is the cow. So I'm going to add a photo 
of the cow. Again, I need to cut around and crop the image. So using the crop tool to carefully draw around the outline of the shape. And then pressing done. And then done again to add the character to the scene. Um, I think we'll put the cow just on the hill there. So that's scene one set up. Now I'm ready to set up the background and the characters for scene two. So to add a new scene, to add a new slide, press the add button where it says slide one of one. So I'll press the add button now and that will take me to slide two. So again, I'm going to start by adding in my background image by pressing the add button, existing photo, and scene two is at the market. So I'm going to select the image with the market. So again, using my finger and my thumb, stretch it to fit the full size of the screen and then pressing done. Again, don't forget to lock the image in place because as we're moving the characters when we're recording it, we don't want the image to be moving at the same time. So remember to lock the image and press the I button and then select lock. Now I've got the background image locked in place, I can add the characters for scene two. So choose existing photo. I will need Jack again for this scene. We'll have him come in from that side, and I'm going to need the cow. So press done, and then done again. And in this scene, I'm also going to need the old man. So choose existing photo, there's the image with the old man and use the crop tool to carefully draw around him. pressing the done button when you are finished and then pressing the done a second time to add it to the background. And I'm just going to make him up a bit bigger. So once pupils have done this for all of their scenes that they've planned within their storyboard, they're then obviously ready to start recording their narration and their speech between their characters. So I need to start back at scene one, obviously, to do this. So using the arrow button at the bottom next to where the slide sorter is, I'm just going to press the left arrow to move back to scene one. I'm going to put, make sure the characters are where I want them to be at the beginning of the scene. Now I'm going to record the narration and move the characters to interact with the narration. So to record, you'll notice there's a record button at the bottom in the middle. I'm going to press that to start the recording. And then when I've finished recording the scene, I'm going to press it again to pause it. One day, Jack's mum called him to tell him the bad news. Jack, I'm afraid we're going to have to sell Daisy. We just simply have no money to buy any more food. Oh no. I want you to go into the village and see what you can get for her. Okay, if I have to. So Jack went to fetch Daisy. 
together they set off to the market. And Jack, don't be long. Remember your tea will be ready soon. Okay, Mum. I'll be as quick as I can. So that's the recording for scene one done. Now I'm ready to record scene two. So using the arrow button, this time the right arrow button to take me to slide two, which is going to be scene two. Positioning the characters where I want them to be at the beginning of the scene and then recording my voice and moving the characters to interact with the recording. Jack and Daisy soon arrived at the market. When they got there, they bumped into an old man. Hello young man, I really like that cow you've got. Are you selling her? Yes I am actually, said Jack. We need the money to buy some new some food. Oh well I'm afraid I don't have any money, but I do have these magic beans. Magic beans, thought Jack. He was very impressed. Wow, magic beans, he said. Okay, you can have my cow for those magic beans. So Jack and the old man exchanged the magic beans. Wow, I can't wait till I get home to show my mum, said Jack. He took the magic beans off the man and soon rushed home to tell his mum the news. The old man went back to his village with his new cow. So once pupils have recorded their voice for all of their scenes, to preview the video, they can press the play button to watch it back. Jack and Daisy soon arrived at the market. When they got there, they bumped into an old man. And they can do this for all of their scenes by using the arrows to navigate to the scenes. One day, Jack's mum called him to tell him the bad news. Jack, I'm afraid we're going to have to sell Daisy. We just simply have no money to buy any more food. Oh no. I want you to go into the village and see what you can get for her. Once pupils have done their recording and they're happy with it, they're then ready to save the animation as a movie into the iPad camera roll. So to do this, there's a button in the bottom right hand corner. The third one from the end, it's a square with a play button in the middle. You press this button, it then gives you the option to save the movie to the camera roll.